Hi, in this video we will explain parametric curves. Nerves curves are a form of parametric curves, so understanding parametric curves is essential to understanding what nerves curves are. We will talk about concepts such as curve parameter, curve domain, Evaluation of a curve, tangents, all these are terminologies that are associated with nerves curves and parametric curves in general. So in order to understand what parametrics curve, let's take the following example. Suppose you walk to work every day from your house and you leave a certain hour suppose at 8 o'clock, and you take the same path every day to reach to your work at around 9 o'clock. You walk the same speed every day. You leave exactly at 8, and it takes you exactly 60 minutes to get to your work. So if you use a timer and you start at 0, then your timer will be at 60 minutes by the time you get to work. 15 minutes into your walk, you usually pass by your children's school. Half an hour into your walk, this is where you pass by the park. And around 45 minutes, you cross a little pedestrian bridge. Just because you always walk same speed, your wife knows that at 8 o'clock you will be at home. Let's consider that the zero minute. At 8.15 you will be passing by the local school. 30 minutes into your walk, she can be certain that you are passing by the park. 45 minutes and you are crossing that bridge. And after 60 minutes, you are sure to have arrived to your work. I'll just put a little separation between your real life walking and the time capture of your walk. What we were able to do is that we were able to plot actual locations using time. So if we consider that to be t0, which is your starting time, we can plot that to your house, which is a 3D location in space. 15 take us to your school. 30 take us to the park. 45 take us to the bridge. And 60 plots the location of your work. Actually, each minute on the clock will translate to a location along your path. If every minute during your walk you plot your location, you can actually draw your path using these time intervals. So what we just done, we were able to describe a path in terms of time. In other words, we were able to draw a curve using a parameter. My curve is called parametric because we are able to describe it in terms of a parameter. Any curve that can be described or drawn using a parameter is called parametric curve. So a parameter on a curve represents the address of a point on that curve. That is the formal definition of a curve parameter. Now, my time, t, was able to describe a 3D location in space, which is my house. And so is every single minute all the way to the 60th minute. And all of these are considered curve parameters. Now, the range of values from 0 to 60 that all plot to locations on my curve Together, they are called the curve domain. 
That is what a curved domain is. It is all the range of values in my parameter space, this space, the parameter space, that can translate to locations in my 3D space. Now, while my 3D space is fixed, my path doesn't change, my parameter space can change. How is that? Suppose one day you were in a hurry and you needed to get to your work in 30 minutes, so you decided to take your bike. So you start at zero, but it actually takes you only 20 minutes to get to work using the bicycle. That is, at your 10th minute, you'll actually pass your park instead of the 30th minute. And at the fifth minute, you'll be at the school. And the 15th minute, you'll be crossing the bridge. Notice that while my curved domain changed, my 3D space didn't. So the parameter space can start or end at any values as long as the intervals between the starting t0 and parameter ending parameter t1, all the values in between will translate to locations on my 3D curve, then this is a valid parameter space. So speed can change, but that doesn't change the curve. Now to recap, parameter curves are curves that can be described in terms of a parameter. Curve parameter is a number that evaluates to a 3D point in space. Curved domain is all the range of parameters that evaluate to all possible points on the curve. The start of domain evaluate to the start of the curve, and the end of the domain evaluate to the end of the curve. The evaluation rule is what help us find that mapping between my parameter space and my 3D location, and it's particular to each parametric curve. Now, what are the tangents? At any point on the 3D curve, the direction in which I would be going to move forward on my path is called tangent. So, evaluating a parameter on a curve will give me a point or a 3D location on the curve and a tangent, which is the slope of the curve at that point. And these are the four elements of parametric curves. Now let's look at parametric curves in Grasshopper and all the four different components of parametric curve. The parameter, the domain, the evaluation, and the tangent. Suppose we have a curve in 3D space. I'll draw some curve. I'll capture the curve in Grasshopper. Let me hide that curve in Rhino. Now this is my curve, and this is a parametric curve. What are the domain or the range of parameters that will evaluate to actual 3D locations or points on that curve? The way to know the domain of a parametric curve is to use the domain component. If we feed that domain the curve, it will give us the range of values within which will evaluate points within the curve. So my domain goes from 0 to 17.83. That means if I evaluate the curve at parameter 0, then I will land at the start of the curve, and if I evaluate to 17.83, I will land at the end of the curve. Let's test that. Let's set the range from 0 to 17.83. Let's make that 2. So now I have my range or my parameters that I expect to evaluate to point on the curve. In order to evaluate a point, we need to use the evaluate curve component. 
under curve analysis evaluate curve which takes the curve and the parameter as you can see this evaluated to a point at the start of my curve so what comes out of the evaluation is the point the tangent and the angle let's try to view using some viewing aid here I'll just pin my evaluated point for clarity and draw my tangent. I will anchor my tangent to my point. Now if I drag my parameter slider to evaluate different parameters on curve, suppose I type in one that one evaluate to that particular location and the tangent also is described there i can keep dragging my parameters and i can see that my point is a traveling along the curve all the way to the very end of the curve at parameter 17.83 i've been able to plot the curve using a parameter and this is what a parameter is we also explained what the domain is and what the evaluation rule is and this also shows the tangent now remember that the domain could be set to any range of values so we can reset the domain to zero to one which is very common way to set the domain so that we have a predictable range of parameters to work with and actually it is so common that if you right click on the curve there is a function that says reparameterize and that automatically sets the domain of parameters to 0 to 1. Let's set that. As you can see now that now the domain is set to 0 to 1 but my evaluation now is showing a warning which says parameter is outside the curve domain. A result may be unpredictable. If we zoom out, we might find the point somewhere in space. We don't even see the point, so it evaluates somewhere very far. And let's try to drag closer to one. And now I'm starting to see my point. So I need to reset that to zero to one in order to be able to evaluate to points within my domain. And remember, my domain changed, but the 3D space, which is my curve, did not change.